All right, here's what we're doing. We have a Hall of Fame break. There's two boxes of Cooperstown, two boxes of 75th anniversary. Uh, we have some stuff going on with that that if you go headless in that, you get a $25 break credit. Um, one spot, the top spot in that random will get a free spot in a flawless box hit random. But we did a filler before we actually filled the break. The last two spots, we have three spots. The top spot in this random is getting the last two spots in the HOF break. And the bottom two spots are each getting a box of 14 playbook football. So, I mean, we've got to do our random action. Number is five. So, let's kick over here. Here are people. Again, top spot gets the two remaining spots in the HOF break. At the bottom two get boxes of playbook football. All right, Young Gun with the spot, with the two spots. Means an e Durks getting a spot in. Or getting the, the playbook football boxes. So, you know, well, I guess while we're doing it, who was on top of that? Beans was on top. So let's do this. Let's do this fast. Beans, you on top or bottom? Since you were number two, I'll give you first pick. This one for beans, real quick, before we get done. Do our other business. All right, let's see what sweetness we can get beans. All right, the book is 123 out of 199. It is a Paul Richardson rookie book. Jumbo napkin action. And your card is 4 out of 10. Jarek McKinnon. 4 out of 10, nice auto. A little different. Not horrible. And then this one becomes E Dirks. Yeah. I'm trying to be positive about it, but yeah. Eh. card first this time. 37 out of 99. Aaron Murray. Some kind of X-Factor card. Mm. It's not bad. A uh, rookie playbook for Derek Carr. Derek Carr booklets. Two color. Patch Auto, that's nice. Number 46 out of 99. It's pretty solid either. And let's now get...
get some of the other business started. And we're gonna do some random stuff, so that's that's always always a lot of fun. All right, we already rolled five, so we'll just stick with that. Oh my God, what is your problem, Google Sheets? For reals, bro. No, thank you for getting into it, E. Dirks. Don't, uh, don't thank me. All right, so here are our teams. We're gonna go five times. One. Four. And the last time for teams is five times. This doesn't mean a whole lot. All right, now this one is a little more significant. I'm going to go five times. Top one on this one after five is getting the free spot and the flawless hit random. So here it is. Here it is. Money shot. Beans. Staying on top, getting the free spot. And the flawless break. I nope, can't copy that way. Right, there it is. So let's I don't do that anymore. We can line up our teams. See who everybody get. I did, Mr. Do. I did. Um, right, let's just sort this one right quick so that it's all normal like. Have you had to do the capture thing yet? That's the best. All right, that is everybody squads. There are obviously some ones that are completely useless, but that is what the uh, break credit, uh, you know, action is. So I don't know if anybody. Uh, yes. Eaters with the Yankees is good. Regis with the Cubs is pretty solid. Mets, Cardinals, always good. Giants, not bad. So let me get some of this stuff. Dose of these, dose of these. Uh, because Bateson had the most genius of ideas to fill this thing that I am now going to abuse the uh, living crap out of.
So Regis wants to unload the Padres. Regis Basin will give you three dollars and a handy for the Padres, Indians, Nationals, and Diamondbacks. Never mind, just for the Padres. Three dollars and a handy just for the Padres. Uh, well, knowing 75th anniversary, he may be in both, Mike and Rita. Cooperstown, I do not know. Satchel Page. All right, cash sale for the Indians. Beans, are you here? Leave that there for right for right now. My goodness, there is there are really so many options. If you get down, not even if you get down, I mean you could start it off that way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got some thinking to do about this. Yeah, Beans is off for a little bit. Anybody interested in the Nationals, the Padres? Okay, so that's solid. I mean, I mean, Regis. Oof. I mean, you're probably not going to go. You're probably not going to get the break credit because of the Cubs. But so yeah, you're kind of hurt on that one. I love Tony Gwynn. I want to go Tony Gwynn Auto. Yeah, we got. No, I don't have Gary's number to even uh, text him to see if he has any interest in doing anything. But well, he was going to sleep anyway, so I wouldn't want to. I'm not going to wake him up for this mess. Or maybe I should wake him up. Let me see if I have Gary's phone number. Then I'll call Gary's neighbor if Gary doesn't answer and have his neighbor knock on Gary's door until Gary wakes up. And then have then I'll call Gary once he's awake and then get him to come on to see if he would be interested in trading for the Nationals, Padres, or Diamondbacks. How's that sound, guys? <laughs> Sorry, Gary. Um, yeah, Mike, I didn't even think it was gonna, there was gonna be, like, anything to this, so yeah, okay. Everybody has written down who they have and whatnot, enough that, uh,
Let's do this thing. Uh, I'm going to do one of these first. One of these bad boys. Oh, it's too late now. Here it goes. Old Rabbit Marinville, 36 out of 75. Everybody's interested in that. 49 out of 75. The Roberto Clemente. Twenty nine out of fifty, the one and only Rod Karu. Look at that smile, folks. And then we have a Crusades for Pie Trainer. Pie Trainer. Yeah. Oh, in case there is something uh, interesting. Oh, he's whoever I assign him to, Mike. Whoever I assign him to. Two out of ten, Pee Wee Reese. I mean, Marinville may, for all I know, be an expo. So, we'll just, we'll, you know, we'll beg to differ on that. <laughs> How about the Roy Campanella? No, thank you, Mike. I I do appreciate that. Cal Ripley base action. What else we got here? A Elite Dominators, Tony Lazeri. That is a number. Well, that's just odd, isn't it? Another. Tony Lazari. A different one. Elite series this time. And my boy Ozzy Smith. Crusades unnumbered. And now our autos. Eh. Let's wait for the next box action. Gay Lord Perry. Gaylord Perry. I will have to see what uh, what team he is assigned to. Is number eighty-two. If anybody knows off the top of their heads, and a two out of twenty-five. Whitey Herzog. Two out of twenty-five. He's a manager. He manages things. Now I'm going to do one of these. I can do them in whatever order I want to. Because I'm in charge. You'll look at it how I want you to look at it. What are the odds of me getting jumped walking to the hotel? Walking? With what hotel? On the day land. Or the, through the trains, or through the uh, bus stop area? I think very low, but... Nice. I did walk Alyssa out there, because she was worried. Like, the, in, the, the gate going in doesn't close now. Like, after 7 o'clock. Yeah, I noticed that. The out one does, but not the, not the other one. What is that? Dude, that might be a... Uh, a gym card. How about Stan Musial? He was in the uh, Armed Forces. Look at that nice little smile. What do you do? Well, later. Alright, have a good night. Right. Later, everybody. Let's do this too. Oh.
Mary Larkin inductions. That is a base action. Do you want to take the Liberator with you? I mean, I, 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 we, I mean, I know it's a gun show. Etched in Cooperstown, Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, you're not in? Uh, well, I mean, there's still time to come in here, you know, break right for like 30 minutes or something. It is Tom Glavin. He played for the Braves. It was number 22 out of 75. And it's die cut. So that makes it extra fancy. Then we have some dude, Paul Molitor. I don't, I'm unfamiliar with him. 5 out of 25. Blue die cut. I don't know. Uh, some dude, Frank Robinson. Frank Robinson. Pencils. Luke Appling for Chicago, 23 out of 35. 23 out of 35. We have a Charlie Geringer, 9 out of 35. More Hall of Fame action. And we have this guy, Bill Mazeroski. But that's base. Then we have some autographs. One is Orlando Cepeda for the Giants. Orlando Cepeda. And a goose a gossage. Goose. Base auto. And then there is one other card. It is five out of fifteen. Ruby action. Carl Yastrzemski. And Jim Rice, both for the Red Sox. Nice pickup, Regis. All right, I'm going to do the other 75th. Treasures may be in store here, everyone. What treasures? I'm going to be honest with you. The first one is impressive. It is a lefty growth. 42 out of 75. Then it is a, apparently a Tony Lazeri hot pack. Or hot case. Uh, it was a 67 out of 75. 17 out of 50, a little early winnage. You throw a ball fast and hard, being pitcher and off. Brooks Robinson, number 30 out of 50. Purple and Gold Crusade.
37 out of 50, Duke Schneider. The win is for Cleveland. For Cleveland. All right, Leo Adarosher, that is a base Diamond Kings. 43 out of 75, the Nolan Ryan. His name is Mel Ott. He played for the New York Baseball Club. This guy played for the Chicago Baseball Club. His name is Ernie Banks. Then you've got uh, this Grover Alexander fellow that's a crusade. Uh, his name is Jim Bunning. Jim Bunning. It's number 33. I don't know if he uh, played for more than one team. Then this gentleman is number 43 out of 50. Louis Aparicio. 43 out of 50. Ruby variation. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna go through the checklist for all of these. I mean, I'm not, I don't know them anywhere near well enough to make any assumptions, so I will check the checklist for absolutely everything. We got another, uh, another gem card. This one is an emerald. It is number two out of ten. The gentleman played first base for Philadelphia. His name is Jimmy Fox. Jimmy Fox Emerald. Two out of ten for the Phillies. Nice pickup, E. Dirks. Oh, athletics. Again, I will be checking, uh, doing quite a bit of uh, homework on this, uh, on this sort. I will not be leaving it up to, uh, Alyssa and Darren. It is Armed Forces. It is Stan Musial. We've seen that one before, oddly enough. It's weird. We have a Don Sutton. Don Sutton. Etched in Cooperstown, Frank Thomas. Franklin Thomas. It is Raleigh Fingers. It is number four out of ten. Four out of ten for Raleigh Fingers. What are the odds? Nap Lejol, that's base. Uh, Miller Huggins, little names of the game action. Twenty-one out of thirty-five. Robin Yount. Robin Yount. 
I don't even care. He's dead, so that he he cannot complain to me. Two out of ten. Orlando Cepeda. La Joe. La Joe. And I said Lazari, didn't I? I didn't say Azari. Two out of ten Cepeda. He plays for a San Francisco team. Jim Palmer. Some base action. Alright, first auto is Tony Perez, Cincinnati. I think this one is going to have to be randomed. If I'm not mistaken, Doug Harvey, umpire. So we're going to have to throw some random action on him. And this is, frankly, almost completely unbelievable to me. Nearly completely unbelievable. Two out of five. Yastrzemski and Jim Rice. What are the odds? I mean, seriously, what are the odds? A two out of five. And in the other box, the uh, Ruby, a five out of 15. Same card, two, I mean, two different boxes. Same case. It's, I mean, that is, I mean, staggering to me. All right, Doug Harvey. We have our number was five. Ah. So we'll do do it five more times. One, two. And Gary picks up the Doug Harvey. Well, that's just about completely insane. But thank you, everybody.